The Terrapins have the ball off the tip. What are we in for with these guys, Jay? An intimidating defensive team, Mike. They really like to force turnovers by putting pressure on the ball, getting out in passing lanes, and they love to shoot gaps and take the ball the other way. They can shoot a lot of layups tonight if they are strong defensively. We've seen these guys before, and we know one thing. This is a tough bunch of kids. Possession, two down. Need up, need up. Releases. The orange men, they're using the man-to-man. -man. Jay, what are they looking to do in this defense? Well, they're really trying to disrupt the offense, Mike. They're trying to push them further out on the floor and get them out of their comfort zones. That's one of the things a man-to-man -man defense does. The sophomore outside the arc. That's a three. They pass it inside with the jumper. The Terrapins have the ball. They're up by one. One wants it in the post. It's knocked away. With the touch shot, the sophomore guard rips down the offensive rebound. Nice job on the offensive boards. Those second chance points are high percentage shots. With the jump shot. It's a one-point hey, hey. game. The sophomore uses the glass and gets the bucket. The Terrapins have the ball and are one back. The senior center wants it in deep. The freshman guard scores to give them the advantage.
The junior forward, 13 feet out, no good. They could have taken advantage of the lack of coverage, but he just missed the shot. Turnover adds up, and that can come back to haunt you. For two points, 51 reels in the offensive oh. board. The Terrapins have the ball and are one back. The Terrapins bury it, and the score keeps seesawing back and forth. up. The junior forward pulls down the offensive rebound. It's a one-point game. The senior in the post calling for the ball. They didn't get him the ball, missed an opportunity there. The sophomore guard will leave the floor. The Orange men go with the zone defense here, Jay. Yeah, Mike, it's a 2-3 zone. That gives them a little more flexibility to prevent inside play, and they can also extend out the shooters while they give good coverage down low. With the shot, five misses the wide-open shot. The Terrapins have the ball. They're up by one. Loose ball. The Terrapins regain control. The Orange men down by three with the ball. Has a look. The junior forward, tough shot and cans the leaner. It's a one-point game. Double up, double up. Puts it up. The Orange men are trailing by just a little bit here as we move through the first half. Jay, what can you say about their play so far? Well, Mike, they're trailing here because they're not shooting the ball well, and that's a result of taking some quick shots. They've got to do a better job of working the ball around to get high percentage looks. Kick the ball inside if there's nothing left. Relocate the ball and get some easy shots. The defense with the double team. The Orange men down by three with the ball. The sophomore guard wasn't careful with it, went out of bounds, and he gives it up. Goes for three. 25 picks up after the miss. What a great rebound on the inside. This kid is playing tough on the glass. It's a five-point game. Switch him up. With the jump shot. One made it from top of the key. Boy, Mike, that was nice there. This kid may not be lightning quick with that crossover, but used it at just the right time and with just the right timing. He timed the move with just enough space to step up and make the play. Great box out. That's the way you go after a defensive rebound, especially early on in a close game. The junior forward now has 10 points in the game. He is really playing tough, and he's the reason they're right there in this game. This kid is a leader on the floor, someone who can inspire his teammates and make them better and pull everyone together. They go with a double team, splits it with the pass. On Lowe's. The Orange men take the ball up, down four points right now. Let's go. 
shoots. This is a big time front line. Jay, they have a lot of talent up there. Mike, really solid work in the paint. They're getting the ball inside. The big guys are getting angles. And give credit to the guards for getting the ball in there. When they get double teamed, you can always kick it back out for an open jump shot. And look at the numbers in the paint. Fires. Jay, that is so impressive, the consistency from this kid. He continues to wow this crowd with big baskets. This guy has been dictating out on offense. For the three, the junior gets all net. He's going to hit that shot almost every time, Mike. And with a mismatch out there defensively, he is going to continue to look for that shot. His confidence is soaring. The Terrapins have a slight edge on the scoreboard. They're up a few right now. They played well so far. And we've gone through most of the first half, and now these kids are looking forward to going to the locker room. What's going on on the court in your mind? Mike, this game has been all about interior play, and as this first half winds down, I think this team's really got to pick up their interior defense. They've got to keep their opponent out of the middle and out of the paint. The sophomore forward lays it right in. You know, Jay, this is a kid that has really impressed us not only with his talent and skills, but with his effort. No question, Mike. He's a raw talent inside, but then he's also got the finesse to be able to hit from the outside, and that's a great combination. Tough to guard. 11 misses a three. Boy, they wanted that three badly, Mike. That guy was wide open, and the crowd would have just gone crazy if he would have hit. The senior big man missed it just off the left. Puts it up. 14. Can't drop in the runner. We've got a mismatch here to watch tonight. A good defensive player keeping it up pretty tight against a less than average shooter. The sophomore forward. No luck with a long three. 25. Gets the rebound. He now has five on the game. Nine-point game we've got going. The junior gets the dunk. Somehow this kid must still be growing. You're just not going to see a lot of kids that can do that. That is really rare to have somebody so talented and so athletic. He went out of bounds on that play. Let me give up the ball. And now they have a turnover. Good job. One gets called for the reach-in. That's his first foul of the game. One calling for the ball down low. The sophomore, no luck with the long three ball. They push it up the court. Jay, this is what we expected, turning out to be a really good game. And you love the way these kids are playing with intensity on both ends of the floor. They are really battling for every loose ball. And they both need this game. Not a good situation for the defense here, Mike. There's a huge height advantage right now. The defense must try to deny that entry pass every time by playing the passing lanes better and try to push him off the lane. Then get some pressure on the ball handler so he can't see inside and get that easy pass in. Wow, Mike, that's NCAA basketball right there, bringing you some unbelievable jams. Takes the shot. 25, can't get the buzzer, beat it and drop. The clock runs out, we're heading to halftime. The score, 39 to 36. The sophomore guard looks fresh coming back out. The senior is going to be hit with a blocking call. That's his first foul of the game. With the jumper, 51, clears the board on offense. The senior center picks up after the missed shot. He just wanted it more there, Mike. He went up with both hands in a crowd and brought it down hard. Great defensive rebound in a really tight ball game in the second half. The sophomore missed it off the front of the rim. Here comes the fast break. The orange man get that one and have now scored six unanswered points. 
The freshman forward goes glass for the easy two. Jay's having a good night. What do you see from him tonight? Well, Mike, I think he's really hunting his shot out there and looking for opportunities to score. And when he gets open looks, he's going to rack up some open baskets. This kid is one guy you've really got to watch out for and limit his touches on the perimeter. He will take over. And he's done it so far. Throw it down low. The sophomore forward tosses it back out. Another basket, and we're seeing the backcourt just dominate this game, Jay. I think this team's guards have really gotten the advantage in this ballgame, Mike. You're going to have to really press out on these guys because they're knocking their shots down right now. Nice determination to bang those boards. 11 tries to answer with a three, but no good. Shoots inside. The Terrapins have the ball. They're up by one. Throws it up. The Orange Men down by three with the ball. The Junior down low getting his position. The Junior forward missed hitting the right rim. Oh, nice crossover there, but it doesn't look as nice when you miss the shot. Puts up the shot. Here's a kid that when you ask him to step up, he delivers. A tough game, a tough matchup individually, and he gets a double-double. It seems like he's just been in the zone, and they've needed it tonight, too. He's been a major factor in keeping this one close. Three hit it after the adjustment. For the three, the freshman guard off on that jumper. Well, the shot doesn't go. The defense a little bit late in getting there, but the shooter just did not get that ball up with good rhythm. He snagged that offensive rebound with great determination and hustle. What a nice play. One fired too long. They've got a fast break. Puts up the tray. The freshman guard misses the three. He'll hit it most of the time. You don't want to give him too many good looks. Bounces out of bounds after the shot. The Orange men can pull into the lead here with a score on this trip. Let's see if they can take advantage of the possession. It's knocked loose. Puts up the J. The junior big man now has a dozen rebounds in the game. They work it in. Inside shot. The senior center rips down the offensive rebound. We got it. Shoots. One gets the rebound. He now has five. What determination we've seen here tonight from this ball club. Usually you get down that much, you tend to give up. But they've clawed their way right back into this ball game. You just wonder if they've used up all their energy in the comeback and they've got enough gas left in the tank to keep going. The sophomore gets the jumper. The orange men have the ball and are one back. The Terrapins go with the 2-3 zone. Anything specific you'd like to call? Well, you get into your zone offense here, Mike. You can run some sets against it, but I think what you really try to do is penetrate the gaps of this zone and then kick it to open shooters. You can get some open shots if you're patient. The junior forward has the leaner, but it comes out. This team is really working well together. I love to see five guys playing as one. These kids have definitely shown they can come together, and they're also hitting big shots when they need to. This will be interesting to see how this one plays out, if they can continue to knock down open looks. What, was he not looking where he was going? What a mental lapse. I mean, there's only a couple directions you can go. 11 gets the bucket and the foul. What a great shot, and he has a chance for another one from the line. Side game. It 
it's a one point game. There's a loose ball. The orange man touched the ball last before it went out. One gets position down low. 13 has it up top. The Terrapins are trailing right now as we play through this second half. Jay, they were able to finish the first half with a lead in this game. What's going on that you can sum up for the viewers at home? Mike, they're down right now midway through the second half. They've got to force some turnovers, make something happen defensively, and let their defense fuel their offense. They can't get it done just by running offense. They've got to play better defense as well. The Terrapins stick with the outside jumpers. Passes it back. For two, one gets his sixth rebound of the night. Really good job of boxing out and going after the ball. That's great hustle on the defensive glass. The senior kisses it off the glass and in. From downtown, the sophomore guard misses a three. Good play there. The defender stepped up to make that play, but in general, you can't expect a guy that's that outmatched to consistently take away open looks from a great shooter like this. The Terrapins are back five on the scoreboard. We got it, we got it, we got it. Kicks it back. Hey, hey, over here, over here. Through the post. From the outside. The freshman guard collects the defensive board. The best rebounders will limit you to one shot. He used excellent quickness to get that rebound and pull it down. The junior center pulls down another rebound. That's 14 so far. This team has really done a nice job rebounding on both ends. They're not only getting position, but they're pursuing the ball relentlessly. That's what they need to do to try to control the momentum of this game. Keep grabbing big rebounds. Beautiful rebound on that possession. And another second chance opportunity. That can really take the wind out of you when you continue to get high percentage second shots like that. That is great hustle and a terrific rebound. The sophomore guard will come back onto the floor. The sophomore guard will come off the floor. Goes for three. The sophomore forward breaks the open shot. For two points, the sophomore guard misses from top of the key. Fast break chance. One gets the basket and puts it through to end the drought. The orange men with the ball and a three-point advantage. He shoots. The sophomore grabs the miss. This kid can really clean the offensive glass. He's going after it. The sophomore, 13 feet out, no good. The Orange men have a three-point working margin as we wind down the second half. Jay, what's your opinion? Mike, this is a critical time in this ballgame. This game has remained close because this team has done a great job defensively, but when you rely on your defense for this long in a ballgame, you start to wear down. I think this team's got to find a way to get an easy basket, and not just off a turnover. They've got to work the ball inside and try to score from the free throw line. Otherwise, they may just get worn out at the most difficult and critical time of the game. 23, fired short. That's a huge miss. Nobody was guarding him. It's a five-point game. They get another basket in the paint, Mike, and that's been the main factor here tonight. They continue to pound the ball inside, and it's working very well for them. They get high percentage shots and the chance to draw fouls. One heads to the bench. The freshman owns the offensive glass. When that ball goes up, it's a loose ball, and this kid is going after it hard. Great offensive rebound. Goes for the three. The Terrapins are using the full court man-to-man -man here, applying some pressure on them, Jay. Well, I think you've really got to keep your composure against this pressure, Mike. Keep the ball moving up court and attack the basket to score. Put some pressure on their pressure at the point it's applied. The sophomore forward reels in the offensive board. That's a horrible decision. Looked like he didn't even know where he was on the court. Substitution on the court. 
just a minute six to go. It's a loose ball. Less than a minute to go. It's not going to be easy to come back, but not impossible either. Moore, this is tough, Mike. You've got to score and then go down and play strong defense without fouling and then go down and score again. It is not going to be easy, but don't put it past this team to make a comeback here. It's rejected. Mike, rebounding is all about effort, and this kid showed great effort on that rebound in a really tight game late in the ballgame. The senior guard spent quite a bit of time on the bench, now coming back in. 21 snags the offensive board. The Orange Men with the ball. The lead is four. Takes the jumper. The Terrapins can take a bite out of that lead with a bucket here. Launches the three. Jay, that one goes in, and they're really outperforming the other team in the second half. Well, that's an understatement. They've hit more threes in this half than the other teams hit all game long. Three is the magic number for this team. Box power, box power. The freshman feeds it outside. From behind the arc. The sophomore guard doesn't get it to fall, and he doesn't force overtime. 